Ciao a tutti and welcome to this new quick episode of SVN channel. Today I want to talk about knowledge distillation, a methodology that is part of all those optimization techniques that let us unchain models from the cloud and deploy them directly on board the machines. We have pruning, quantization, uh, weight clustering, and many others. However, knowledge distillation is radically different from all these ones. The main idea is to train a big model or an ensemble of models and then squeeze their knowledge into a small one. It was first proposed by this paper, but then it became famous thanks to the one and only Geoffrey Hinton. He presented this idea in this paper, the stealing knowledge in neural networks. Starts in the introduction talking about insects and their larva form. <laughs> Hinton. But then he proceeds giving an important tip about knowledge. The question is, where's knowledge in a neural network? You could think inside weights, but looking only under this light, it would be very difficult to see how to compress a network into a small one. Instead, Into suggests for this problem to look at the network as a function that transforms input in output vectors. So, for instance, in an image classification task, we have an image that is transformed in a probability distribution, usually with a softmax operation. And here's the trick. In contrast to labels, with a neural network, I have information of all answers, also the wrong ones. And if you think about it, that's really helpful. I have practically a concrete mechanism to probe how a network is generalizing. Indeed, if for example I have a large model, very good at classifying digits, that model with its predictions is implicitly saying me that a 9 is more similar to an 8 or 3 than a 1. And that is simply watching at its output. But in practice, how could we do? There are two ways, the region 1 proposed by Inton, soft distillation, and hard distillation, proposed by this guy to, run, to, uh, to train a, a vision transformer. With the first one, we simply select a way to measure distance between two distributions, like the KL divergence, and then we add it to your loss function. So, we have a weighted sum with, uh, for example, cross entropy and a KL distance between the softmax output of the cumbersome model, usually called the teacher, and the softmax output of the small model, also known as the student. As you can see, there's a T, and that's the temperature parameter. Normally, T is set to 1, but with distillation, we set this parameter to a value greater than 1 obtaining a softer probability distribution. So, increasing t is possible to circumvent the small probability value of negative answers. And that's it! With this loss, we cannot train our small network. Instead, our distillation is even simpler. We take the argmax of the softmax output of the teacher and we perform a weighted sum with your loss and true labels and a cross entropy loss between the student outputs and these new labels computed with the teacher. It doesn't seem so clever, but it's especially useful if the student has an input slightly different from the teacher. And that's all for another distillation. As always, I leave you in the description a notebook where you can play with a knowledge distillation and yeah, have a nice tea. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you for the next episode of SVN Channel.